Hello everyone, this is Sister Roland and all I need is a few minutes to talk about this trending news that involves Tiana or Tiana Wallace and she is the daughter of the late Notorious B.I.G. also known as Christopher Wallace. So what has been happening, this actually the events leading up to why Tiana is trending started on August 10th when the father of a child who goes by the name of Tyshawn Baldwin was pulled over by the police and allegedly he drove off and hit some pedestrians and in the pedestrians included a mother and her toddler it's a whole mess so we're gonna read the article and then we're gonna come back to our commentary so suspected NYC hit and run driver who struck three including toddler faces 17 charges so allegedly this is um, her baby's father so a Brooklyn, New York man is facing more than a dozen charges stemming from uh, August 10th. So this started, um, this, the event happened on August 10th where he hit, you know, <clears throat> the lady and her toddler and I guess uh, some of the pedestrians also. But why the woman and the toddler is being mentioned because that's when there's a video i'm not going to show the video here so if you want to see the video that's not this video i'm not showing that in this video so in the video you actually see when he hit the lady and her dog uh, and the toddler i'm not sure of the gender so queen's district attorney melinda katz announced wednesday that Tyshawn Baldwin, 28, has been charged with assault, reckless endangerment, unlawful fleeing of police officers, and other crimes in connection with the hit and run. Because they had already pulled him over because I believe, what's they going to say it here? They were talking to him and I guess, I'm not sure if they found out that, you know, something, because I knew he was driving with a, he was allegedly driving with a suspended license. So... In the video, you can see like the police officers trying to call the other police, and then he just drove off without even thinking, you know, impulsive, impulsive decisions. And then in that impulsive decision, he hit the lady, and then you would think that, hey, I hit this person, let me stop. Oh, he kept on going. It don't make no sense. So... So it was a two-year-old girl. So it was a two-year-old girl, a 28-year-old woman, and 35, 35-year-old man that were hit. So that's who he hit. Okay. So according to a statement issued by Katz's office, office Baldwin had been stopped initially for parking a Dodge Durango at an inter intersection, as well as having a loud exhaust and dark tinted windows all while driving with a suspended lantern and this is what i ne can never understand people who are not supposed to be driving they have suspended license or their license revoked you would think they would be you know conspicuous they would be they wouldn't bring any any attention to them but that's the people who be blasting their music they be driving like they're crazy they t they they they, they they do all kind of stuff to break the law to bring attention to themselves. I don't, I never can understand stuff like that. Your license is suspended. You shouldn't be driving. You would think that you would try to be as cautious as possible to don't bring attention to them. Nope. They bring attention to themselves. So initially he was already parking an intersection. His, his um, exhaust is loud, dark tinted windows. I mean, it was just like a... Uh, target you know a tar a red arrow pointing at him so i guess they probably you know when he in the video when the police was calling to the other ones they probably discovered that he has suspended suspended license and then he just drove off and mind you he they he got away he turned himself so it happened on the 10th he turned himself after six days 
So six days, that's when he, because he got away. So that don't make no sense. So he's being charged with all of this reckless driving, aggravated, unlicensed operation of a motor vehicle, parking within a, within an intersection and driving by an unlicensed, unlicensed operator. Ridiculous. So what does all this have to do with Tiana Wallace? When it's evident that it's the baby's father that is allegedly responsible for all this mess. Well, I'm not sure how this got out, but whether somebody went snooping or somebody tipped somebody off, but court records showed that Tiana Wallace put up her $1.5 million home, I believe in Brooklyn, to pay for his bond because his bond was set at $1 million. And I'm not sure if they asked for 10%, probably not. They probably asked for the whole thing or a good majority of it. That's why she put up a home. And yeah, so she put up a home to pay this man's bond. And many people were saying different things, like she's stupid, she's dumb, she's literally taking stand by your man as a model for life or whatever. I can't do that because I have done that a t one time in my life, bonded out somebody that I was with. And we have to also realize that she, they do share a daughter together. And I don't believe this, this, this baby is one yet because when I was looking at the baby shower photos, I believe they were taking, taking in September. So it's still a young child and I'm sure she's going to do just like I did um, with the person, you know, you have that bond, you have a child with that person, you're going to do what, sh I'm not making excuses for it, I'm trying to um, explain p why she's doing this, um, so you have, you share a child together, you're going to do what you can to help that person, even though you know they're guilty, they're probably going to go to jail for a long time, but Hey, if you're going to go to jail, let me spend as much time as I can with you. Um, whatever. Um, I may not, she may not have had that money at the time, but she had an asset that was able to cover the cost. And I'm sure she does not want to be, to raise her child as a single mother, even though that may be the end result. But she's going to do as much as she can to help the father of a child. And also another reason, in my opinion, is because when you know, um, when you look at her and society, society has its beauty standards and certain people, you know, they attribute this person is more beautiful, um, most beautiful, beautiful, this person is pretty, this person is cute and whatever. And if you do look at her, she does not fit society's beauty standards even though to me it's just certain hairstyles that will just that would suit her face much better certain colors that she could wear uh, to me but to society society may deem her as not the most beautiful and when you're not the most beautiful you're not sought after by the opposite set or by the opposite sex or you if you're not handsome you're not sought after as much by the opposite sex so when you do get somebody that interests you when maybe all of your life people may have overlooked you but this person comes along and it may be for it may be genuine or sometimes it may not because this young lady is she is a hustler because um she is a she's a very business minded person because she has you know from her her father's legacy she she has a clothing store that she sells his um his clothing different things with his trademarks and different things like that and i believe she she also invested in a pizza place a pizza place in new york so she you know sometimes you may not uh, other celebrity kids, you know, they could get off that by their looks, but sometimes you may, you may not have the looks you may have to put in the work. So she put in the work and sometimes we uh, may attract people that are genuine, you know, that want to be with us or that may see 
may see a come up or may see um, things that they can you know use to their advantage so this young man you know paid may, may have paid her attention and stuff like that where she nobody was giving her the time of day so there because of the, the series of events that you know he he decided to he he made the decision to make them so now this this relationship is in jeopardy so like going back again why would i why would she not do what she can to help him to to see if she can you know uh, um lessen the the time or spend more time before he leaves or whatever because this was the person that actually um bypass what other people are saying oh you this you don't look that you don't look like this or oh, your face this your, your your body this and then he 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 loved her or whatever so she's gonna hold on to that because that's the um only that may have been the only relationship or the only love that she um knew it's not a smart thing to do it's not the right thing to do, but many people do this, especially because if you have never had any problems, you've always had a boyfriend or you've always had men or uh, um, girls running after you and stuff like you had to chase them off with a, with a stick or whatever, you would never understand why people do certain stuff like that when people don't fit in um, society's beauty standards and they do certain stuff for their boyfriends for their uh, um, girlfriends for their baby daddy for their um, um, baby mothers you would never understand because you never had that issue before it's not right that's but this is a thing even though and this is a thing where it goes back to parenting when you have your children, that's why you need to affirm your children. You have to affirm them. You have to affirm them. Have to give them confidence, because um, if you don't, so the world will tell them, tell them off. But if you were always affirming your child, always validating them, when the world tell them this, or oh, you're not good enough, you're not um, pretty enough, you're not this enough, they would have the things that you were saying to them to affirm them to refute those things that the world that people in society is saying but when we don't affirm them what is that child that child is going to absorb everything that um people or the world is saying about them and this uh, uh, one person say this and then boom they try to try to change that somebody else say another thing and then they do they all over the place because they have no identity so this is this is a lesson for all parents to take. Don't talk talking bad about her and stuff like that. Look at your own home. Are your children affirmed? Do you validate your children? Because yeah, my I may not be the most beautiful or whatever, but my dad told me, my mom told me, so I have stuff to refute it. So this is uh, that's the lesson that we should learn from this story is have you affirmed your child have you validated your yes it's not going to be 100 percent proof but at least it's going to help them um it's going to help them but when you don't do anything that's what ends up happening they end up doing things to hold on to stuff because to hold on to people or just to certain situations because that was a, the person or the situation that validated them, that made them feel like they are worthy, like they are a person, like they are beautiful, like they are wanted. So let's learn a lesson and learn how to uh, uh, make, it a, make it our business to affirm and validate our children. That's all I had to say in this situation. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in another video. Bye.